right, guys, welcome back to the GSL Up and Downs, where people send me math problems and I solve them in my head. I actually watched Wolf using calculators and asking other people for help the entire time, and his head is already like smoking. Listen, I'm looking at this new one from Hellfire 29, and that one's actually pretty hard. If you're used to multiplying big numbers together in your head, like 27 times in this case, 20, 27 times 40, that's tough. 27 times 40, that's tough, but I can simplify your equation, Hellfire 29. 27 times 40? Yeah. That's pretty easy. How is that? That's 800, then 280, so 1,080. Okay. Thank you, Calder. No problem. 27 times 40 here at the GSL. Now, Dorian Gu leads the group. We've got three other players. First, Simple and Lassira at 2-1. And that's what the next three games are going to decide. We've got Lassira versus Simple, first versus DRG. And then uh, our last game of the set will be Young versus Grubby. So those wins will kind of determine who is going to get that second place spot most likely. And then, as usual, the last three games will determine the third place spot. Yeah. We could have some weird tiebreaker situations. Grubby and Young still have the chance to get that wild card spot, but it looks very unlikely for them at this point. Right now, Byung especially has to uh, win a lot. I mean, at this point, both of them are struggling, as you can see. And DRG, if he wins another game, then he's already in code as first and symbol. They are the two main contenders. Of course, Lucira as well now. My bad, sorry. Of course, all three of them are tied here to get second spot. And we're going to find out very soon who is getting ahead now. We have our next Zerg versus Zerg with Lucira facing a symbol. The map for this one is, in fact, going to be Belshir Vestige, a map where you can see a lot of early aggression. It's a big map, though. So it's two-player. It's fairly large, but natural is also a little bit open, so... I'm excited for this. These CVZs are mind games. What are you going to do? What is your opponent trying to do? Lucira, we saw him with aggression today. Now he's facing a Zerg opponent. And it's going to be very interesting to see what exactly he has in mind. Will we see a gas again? Will we see a 10 pull? Will we see just both players go for an early hatch and then trying to run with an economy advantage? Everything's possible here. And both of them are getting ready in the booth. We have Hyan and the former TSL coach currently rooting for Symbol, of course. They are sitting on the bench here, whereas Lucira is being supported by not only first, but also his coach, Hirai. Once again, with the angle of his keyboard, just Lucira style. Exactly what we like and love when we have him in the booth here. Yeah. It's like his keyboard... I don't know. I, I, I guess it's something about how he moves his arms or the way he moves his wrists. He just likes it that way. I really like it. Just that sort of personality that comes through his play. Here we go, though. Zerg versus Zerg. Losira up against Semble. Both of them tied here. Who's going to take a lead? Let's find out in the GSL up and down matches. Castle counter four. Starting to the top left, we have our LGIM player. It's the Zerg in red. Calls himself. LGIM Losira. And I have to make amends. Earlier I said that he doesn't have a Twitter. I was wrong. Uh, thank you for all you guys who sent me a tweet and reminded him. His Twitter account is I am underscore Lucira. So if you support him, make sure to add him. At the bottom right, we have his opponent. It's the former TSL Zerg player called TSL Symbol. And Symbol was the one player who stopped the run of Lucira in the GSTL two seasons ago. It was an unbelievable match. It was one of the best StarCraft 2 team matches that I have ever seen in my entire life. And I don't think that I will ever see something this exciting again. Symbol stopped Lucira. This is their revenge match. Yeah. It's been a long time. That changed the entire season. Yeah. Had Lucira won that game, I am would have gone a little bit further. We would have seen an entire diff entirely different champion. And that's actually what we see here on screen. Oh. That is the game that they have, the match history. And of course we mentioned Lucira's Twitter, so let's just talk quickly about the symbol. He changed his Twitter after TSL announced that they would disband. Now it's SC2 underscore symbol. Yeah, very true. The two of us, of course, if you want to follow us on Twitter, are at ProxyWolf is myself and at Kaldor, which of course has K-H-A-L-D-O-R, for those people who are bad at spelling. Or that just didn't know how to spell Kaldor. Because it's not entirely clear. You know, it's not... It's actually smart what you're doing here. You're like, okay, math is not mine, so now I'm just going for the spelling contest. I actually want a spelling bee at elementary school. 
But uh, look at that. Okay. Did not win the math competition. I also did well at the geography bees. That was something I was good at back in the day. Ah, uh, that's not really my thing. No, I was always horrible at that. I have to confess. I, I was good at it only in middle school, but when it was, came to high school, people asked me, oh, you're going to try to compete. I was like, ah, oh, forget it. I don't... <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm going to play StarCraft all night. Sorry. <laughs> I don't blame you. That's what I did. But look at these two builds. They're so identical that you can hardly... I mean, you can scarce see a difference. Yeah. Even the gas is only four off each other. They're very, very similar. So... Uh, Speed is a bit faster here. We have speed for Symbol, whereas Osira is still waiting for the minerals, and then he will also start his own speed upgrade. Yeah, you just want to get a few extra drones first. Yeah. The scouting information are available for, to both of them. They have the overlords in position, so no one takes a risk here. Both of them decide to go into uh, the late game. Well, at least, let's not say the late game, but against uh, in, in a normal macro game. We have a, a bit of overlord hunting going on here. The overlord of Osira is actually chasing the Overlord of Symbol out of his base. It's like he was waiting for him and hiding. There they are, look at that. Uh, somebody's got to call the police, someone needs to report this. They've got this an Overlord like stalker. <laughs> it's like watching snails race. He's like, alright, I'll quit. Don't call the police. <laughs> Symbol's getting a restraining order for his Overlord right away. <laughs> an Overlord with a restraining order. He says, get away. <laughs> he already got one for the Phoenix. He's like, ah, oh, now I gotta get one for this Overlord too. Everyone just wants to follow my Overlords around. That is actually a picture that I would like to see. An uh, Overlord chasing down a Phoenix, not even with a speed upgrade. Yeah, I would love to see that. The tech is a little bit faster here for Symbol. Both of them are playing a very passive game at this point, but we have them uh, with already the means of aggression. They could go for aggression right now with Lucira decides to go into more drones, but we still don't have a tech. He's getting passive bailings here in case that Symbol decides to attack. But Symbol is going for a lair tech that is a lot faster than Lucira's. The Zerglings are now roaming across the map, and this is the reason why Lucira decided to play it a little bit more defensive. But currently, he's actually not really doing a lot. He's droning it up, but he's not really ahead. Nice bailing hit there, though. That helped him. Yeah. But he's heavily supply blocked. He started his overlord as soon as he was supply blocked, so he missed it. And now his Latic is really late. Very late. Simple also has more gas. He's probably gonna be able to use this to his advantage and maybe shut down Lucius third. Shutting down Lucius. Where are those drones going? Yeah. They are a little bit lost. That was a bad rally there. Yeah, he must have accidentally clicked on the mineral patch somewhere. That's the Spire. And wow. it's scouted. That's of course now unfortunate. I would not be surprised as soon as Ling is dead maybe to see him even cancel it and go, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Could be something that he's going to do. That's why Ling double checks because he's like, well, the longer I can make him keep this here, the better. The Queen is just lazy. The Queen should just try Queen's to like, intercept oh, the circle. Just get out of here. How many times do I have to tell you? Oh. No cancel though. No, he goes for, he goes for the Spire. Meanwhile, his opponent getting that Roach worn up. And he's already started plus one, the Sura has. No third base attempt by... That is. <laughs> we have the third base now for Symbol. He's, he checks if Lucira also has a third base. And Lucira is going into Hydralisks. Right off the bat. Interesting. I have to say that Hydralisks as a... I have not seen this as a reaction against Mutablisks yet. Uh, usually most players decide to go straight into an infestation pit and just use the infestors. With a Hydra and Roach composition, if he pushes out, he needs to make sure that those Banings are not going to hit the Hydras. That's really important. And Ooh, he needs to save this drone, but he can't. No, no third base, oh, just oh. there. Barely makes the extractor, but even that has to be cancelled. This is actually looking better and better for Symbol as time goes on because yeah. he has his third base, he can defend his third base, that's something that Lucira will really struggle to do. And on a map of this size, it's not like Lucira can try to do a Hydra Roach push and end the game. He could try, but it's going to be extremely difficult for sure. It's also, you need a certain amount of Hydra lists to really work well against Mule lists. It's uh, not the same when you're facing Phoenixes, but it's still, if you have this burst damage from the Mule list and then just go for individual Hydras, you can do a lot. But with 7, for now he'll be fine. The main question to me is not really, can he get his third base and what is he trying to do? Is he trying to push out with this? Because the transition for Symbol will of course hit at some point. Ah, and there's the answer. He goes for the Nidus network. Yeah, that makes sense. 
He's got a lot of overlords on the map. Because, too. you know, a problem is if he really moves out without the Nidus, then Symbol can just hit his main base. And if there's not enough defense, then that will definitely do a lot. And but actually, right now, he has what? to save his overlords first. Yeah, and, you know, he's got two, but... You know, that's, that's pretty much a lot when your opponent's playing Vitas, but that's just because Symbol is much more concerned about the Banelings, and he's going to lose one Overlord here. The second one is already spotted, so his Nidus is only going to be used on the ground. He can't actually use it in any of the main bases, and without Speedlings to, to put that Nidus up forward, this is going to be very unlikely to work, I have to say, admittedly here. Well, he can also just use it to reinforce and to uh, have an exit strategy ready. He's getting more and more mutilus though, that symbol that is, and the queens are crawling across the map. There's the Nidus, he's using it with his ground forces, this will also give him an option to defend, but this is exactly what I said earlier, he does not really have the numbers just yet to deal with those mutilus, there are not enough Hydras, and Simple is taking this chance, he wants to take him down, but now suddenly the Nidus is ready and the queens emerge, and against the queens, it's a bit of a different story, but three of them are just not there yet. Yeah, he can actually target down the Nidus if he wants to be good uh, the queens instead. I'm not quite sure about the... Well, they don't have the energy anymore. Two transfuses all that they get. And suddenly the anti is gone. Symbol makes a good choice here. They need to pull those weak and Mutus back. Could have done a lot better here, but it doesn't matter. He kills the Nidus now. The attack in the natural, though, is a big concern. He's losing a lot of drones there. Yeah, and the Mutalists will take quite a while to clear up all those roaches. How much damage can Lucira do before Symbol is able to force him back? He's hesitating a little bit, though. He goes for... He goes for the Roachmorn first, and then, you know, at this point, he doesn't kill too many drones. He may get this queen. That's really important. Nice micro by symbol. Workers killed only one, and we have three bases against two. That's a big, big problem for Lucera now. He's dropping behind in supply. We have symbol now also with the pathogen glands on its way. Another attempt is Nidus. Another attempt at Nidus to the left side of the map for Lucera, and he is in trouble. There are so many mutalisks right now. This is really difficult for him uh, to handle. Then Nidus is undetected. Can he sneak up to the third base and finally get this army out that deals with the Hydras as, uh, sorry, with the Mutalisks as well? There they are. Enough Hydralisks. Where are the Roaches? Where are the Infestors? Where is Symbol's ground force? Symbol could try to snipe that Nidus, uh, but then in the uh, he, he doesn't want to waste too much time here. This may be just barely enough Hydras. I think it is. I don't well? think so. I think it's just enough. The queens are an issue. He forced them back, but you can see that already half of the Hydra army is gone. Yeah, and now the, the wings, though, are going into Simple's third base. But Simple, he's really struggling to use those wheelers because the Hydra's there. It looks like this is finally going to be pushed back. The queens initially. are the problem yeah. because they can transfuse and they have, so and they many have hit points. Made, yeah, more hit points, exactly. Now the Hydra is so close, focused actually. down Muta after Muta. This is so close. Symbol is actually falling behind in supply here. It's really close. Symbol the could speed. lose this here. Lucira is making this work. Yeah, the Roach is about to finish. Base. And he needs it. But he doesn't have enough roaches here. He has to pull back again. And Lucira just using great micro here. Great zoning. Ah, Symbol now has a lot of army. He's trying to save his third base. He's running down the ramp. But he's always backing off. And, and the third is the gone. Hatch. Yep. Lucera now in a position where he has to be careful with his army. Symbol has a lot here trying to take down those queens. No transfusers anymore. That's it. The lone Hydra is trying to damage the Hydra, the Roaches, but now we have the reinforcements for Lucera streaming in. He's still ahead in overall supply. The tech is still better for Symbol, but he lost the third base, which is a big problem now as Lucera is about to get his own third. Yep. Thais is taken out. Lucera in. Uh a position now where he's taken the next step. He's been able to push himself a little bit ahead in this game, but even that considered, I I fear for Lasira's late game because he's, he's now you know losing some more units. This gives Symbol the opportunity to take his third base. Does we actually lost our ability to observe? So I don't know if Symbol has pathogen guys. Were you able to see if he has that upgrade or not? I think he must because he already starts a lot of infestors, yeah. but. Uh, that's really important as well because if you can get that investor energy built up, that is going to really hurt Lucira's ability to, to move forward in this game and hold that third. 31 Harvest is killed by Lucira, and this is, of course, having a big effect on Symbol now because he's down to 47 against 59, and the three bases for Lucira allow him a good saturation. Symbol has to get his own third up again. So he can wait a bit until he starts his drones because on two bases, the saturation is good. He has enough drones for that, but as soon as the third is really done, he needs more. And now he's getting another round of five. 
He has the better tech though. Lucira's infestation pit is very, very late. Symbol already has infestors on the map. He is accumulating all this energy that he needs. This will give him an advantage in the next battle. So the late game, as you said, is a bit of a problem for um, for the Lucira. But he did a lot of damage with this. He did more than I thought he could um, he did, could do. So well played here. This is this is absolutely. Really well, close. I mean, you know, a symbol has the ability now to take a fourth base, I feel, with the investors he has. But on this map, is that something he wants to do? It's something you might see on a map like in Tomb Valley, for example, in a ZBZ that goes this long. But on this map, the fourth is so far away and so risky. It's just like with good fungals, you can do so much damage against Hydrolisks. And he also has good upgrades, and he never stopped the Infestor production. So the next fight is going to determine a lot in this game. It's going to change the course of this match. And the fourth base is now being built first for Lucera, to the right side. There are the Infestors, most of them nearing full energy. We have nine in total against zero the roach count is of course much better for symbol as he doesn't have hydralis but 18 hydras for lucira are having a lot of damage on yeah it's all about the fungals of lucira but without investors you know just yet that's not going to be even something he can use but if he gets good fungals once he has those investors out the hydra damage output will be much better for him this game is really close the, yeah the way that he killed that that base and then was able to get his own base up kind of equalized things but i still feel like symbol has a pretty good lead Lucira is going to have to turn things around with his micro, which is something that actually allowed him to take that, that base down in the first place. Lucira is also getting another base, so he's going not only into four, but into five bases. And if Symbol waits too long, then the economy will give Lucira the opportunity to get ahead in this match. Also, the more time passes, the better for Lucira, because he can just supplement his army with additional Infestors, and then he will get, even in the Infestor count, he will be able to build up that energy on them and have this potent composition of Roach, right. Hydra and also Infestors. So it's a very cool, difficult a very difficult game to judge now, but Lucira is actually in a position where time works in his favor and I am afraid a bit of a symbol now. Lucira even getting the plus to armor upgrade. Symbol already has plus to attack. He's starting the first armor upgrade here. Doesn't have range for his own Hydra lists now. And here comes the first battle. Yeah, Lucira has a lot of those Hydras we talked about before, but Bungles here are good, and there's so many Infestaterrans to add actual real army supply. It's a really good position for Symbol, but does he have the roads at the front to deal with all of this? It looks like he does. He's taking out a lot of supply here, but Lucira is still in the overall supply lead and has those two extra bases that will give him the economy. Yeah, the He's bank. forcing Symbol back, and Symbol is running out of energy. Yeah, Symbol's out of energy. He's out of money, really, as well. And he doesn't have Burrow. Uh, he doesn't have Burrow and he can't save and the even Infestors. If, even if he had, there's an Overseer here. There's so much DPS in these Hydras now for Lucira. He may be able to take this one all the way home. Lucira in a great spot with the extra economy that he has. He's reinforcing his army. His 50 supply ahead of his opponent. He's pressuring into the natural now. Those Hydras doing a lot of damage with a plus to attack upgrade and forcing Symbol into submission. He's trying to hold on the former TSL player with problems. And there it is. GG. Game over. Symbol has to submit and Lucera takes another win, is now on 3-1. A very important win for him. He could be tied with Lucera and with Symbol later on and if that's the case he will get the advantage. Well played. And Symbol now, bit in trouble. Big, big trouble. That was that was a great way to deal with I mean, Lucira was so behind in so many different ways in that game uh, that what he did with the Nidus was a big risk, but he executed it so well. His positioning, his micro, all, all the things he used to turn that game around really used the map against Symbol in such a way that Symbol couldn't punish him in return. It was actually quite awesome. This also means that Young is in Code. Young up to this point had a chance to uh, end up on the third place and uh, be tied get a chance to uh, have this wildcard spot on in the Friday group, but this is not the case anymore, because he, at this position, could only be tied with players that he lost to, so Byung is in Code A. There is no, there's nothing he can do anymore. He cannot get third place in the group. And the next game that we have at hand is first versus DRG, first versus Dong Ragu. And of course, with the score that we have for the strong Zerg player for Team MVP, if he takes another win here, he is in Code S. No, uh... 
I'm sorry I was distracted during that game. I had something crazy pop on my computer. Now I'm back in the lobby, so fear not. This match will not have any weird uh, wolf spacing out trying to remove this program. This computer keeps dropping him out of games. Whirlwind is our next map. Zerg versus Protoss once again. A big map. And Dong Ragu, he wants to win. If he wins here, he's in code S and he knows it. it's still looking very calm and collected. Very unimpressed. First suffered his first loss earlier. Yeah. But if he wins here, he's got a pretty good shot. And remember, you already mentioned that Dong Ragu, one win away from his spot. He'll basically pull a squirtle from yesterday and just have that, that unbeatable chance. No one can take a spot away from him. All he has to do is win one more game. This is a pretty good map for Zerg as well. A little bit tougher for first, but I think in this match in particular, neither race has an edge. It just usually means that you go into a later game. If first takes this game, it would mean that Lucira, first, and DRG are on the same score. So that's one again one of the situations where we could have tiebreakers later on, and depending on how the rest of the matches goes. But that's why DRG wants to finish it right now. He wants to end all the doubting. He wants to make sure that he is the one who gets the first spot in Kudas in this group. Let's find out if he can pull it off. It's Whirlwind. It is a Protoss versus Zerg. It is John Ragu up against first at the GSL Up and Downs, casted by Colorful.